Hi, welcome to this Court Maths video on compass directions. In this video, we're going to look at the compass directions north, east, south, and west, as well as north, east, south, east, south, west, and north, west. And we're also going to look at the connection between those compass directions and bearings. And then we're also going to answer some typical questions on them. Now, here we've got a compass, and we've got the letters N, which stands for north, E, which stands for east, S, which stands for south, and W, which stands for West. It's very important to remember their positions in relation to each other. So we've got North, East, South, and West. Now, sometimes people make up sayings to remember them. I've heard some people say, never eat soggy Weedabix. One that I was taught in school was never eat shredded wheat. I don't know if it was always breakfast cereals involved in them or not, but it's one way I've always remembered the positions of the compass directions in relation to each other. So never, N, eat, E, shredded, S, wheat. That's the W. So North, East, South, and West. So now let's consider our bearings. So we've got north, east, south and west. And a bearing is a direction of travel measured clockwise from north. So if we're traveling north, well, there is no angle between our direction of travel and north. So our bearing would be zero degrees. Now we read it as a three digit bearing, so it's zero, zero, zero degrees. If we're traveling east, remember, we're moving in a clockwise direction from north. And we've moved through 90 degrees. So as a bearing, that would be 90 degrees. Remember, it's a three-digit bearing, so it's at 0, 9, 0 degrees. South, well, if we move on around to south, in total from north, we've moved around in 180 degrees. So south would be 180 degrees. And west, if we move on around to west, we've moved in a clockwise direction in a three-quarter turn, so it's going to be 270 degrees. So the bearing of west is 270 degrees. So let's have a look at some more compass directions. So here we've got our north, east, south and west. In between north and east in the middle is northeast. In between south and east is southeast. In between south and west is southwest. And in between north and west is northwest. So here we've got our compass directions. North, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest, and then back around to north. So that is our compass directions, the ones that we will commonly use. And in terms of bearings, so let's put in the ones we know. We know north is zero degrees. We know east is 90 degrees, or zero, nine, zero. We know as a bearing south is 180 degrees. And we know that west is, well, it's a three quarter turn, so it's 270 degrees. So let's consider northeast. Well, northeast is in between north and east. It's in the middle of those two. And if we turn clockwise from north, we will turn through 45 degrees. So the angle here would be 45 degrees, so that means that the bearing would be 0, 0,45 degrees. Southeast, well, it's in between east and south, so it's going to be in the middle of those. So as a bearing, it would be 90 degrees plus another 45, which would be 135 degrees. Southwest, well, it's in the middle of south and west. So we've gone past 180 degrees, and then we've got another 45, so it's going to be 225 degrees. And then we've got northwest, where we've gone to 270, and then we do another 45 degrees. So measured clockwise from north, the bearing of northwest would be 315 degrees. So they're the commonly used compass directions, north, northeast, east, southeast, south, southwest, west, and northwest. And there are their bearings, 000 for north, 045 for northeast, east would be 090, southeast would be 135 degrees, south would be 180 degrees, Southwest would be 225 degrees, west is 270 degrees, and northwest is 315 degrees. Okay, let's have a look at our first question. So our first question, we've got some towns, Castleton, Leek, Donhampton, Milton, and Sandcliffe, and they're just some places that I've made up. If you do live in a town uh, that goes by any of those names, that's just a coincidence. And the question says, which town is exactly south of Donhampton? Now, whenever you're given a question involving a map or compass directions or bearings, you'll typically have north labelled on the map. And as you can see here, we've got north pointing upwards here. So that means that if north's pointing upwards, that means that east would be to the right, south would be downwards, and west would be to the left. So they would be our compass directions of north, east, south, and west. Now, the question says, which town is exactly south of Donhampton? So here's Donhampton. North will be going upwards and south will be going downwards. So Sandcliffe is south of Donhampton. So Sandcliffe. The next question says, complete the sentence. And we've got Milton is blank of Sandcliffe. So here we've got Sandcliffe. We know north is upwards, so never. East is to the right. South is downwards. And in this case, west would be to the left. So Milton is west of Sandcliffe. Okay, next question. 
So the next question says, which direction is Leek from Castleton? So because it's from Castleton, it means we're in Castleton and we want to know the direction of Leek. So it's to the bottom right. So let's label in our compass direction. So we've got north, east, south, and west. And let's also put in a diagonal. So we're going to have north east, we're going to have south east, we're going to have southwest, and we're going to have northwest. And because we're going to the bottom right, that's going to be south east. So Leek is south east of Castleton. So south east. So the next question says, which direction is Leek from Sandcliffe? So the question says from Sandcliffe. So that means we're in Sandcliffe and we want to know the direction of Leek, which is this direction here. And as you can see, because we're going, we've got north, east, south, and west. So it's in between north and west and exactly in the middle. So that means it is north, west. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question is involving bearings. And the question says, what is the bearing of Donhampton from Leek? So here we've got Leek, where it says from Leek, so we're in Leek, and we've got north pointing upwards. And it says, what's the bearing of Donhampton from Leek? So Donhampton is to the east, and as an angle from north, that would be 90 degrees. So as a bearing, that would be 0, 9, 0 degrees. The next question says, what is the bearing of Milton from Leek? So we're in Leek again, we've got never, eight, south, shredded. So it's going to be going directly south, and as an angle from north, that would be 180 degrees. The bearing would be 180 degrees. Okay, so our next question says, Donhampton is northeast of Milton, and we're asked, what is the bearing of Donhampton from Milton? So because it says from Milton, we're at Milton, and we want to know the bearing of Donhampton, and we're told it's northeast. So we're at Milton, and we've got north, we've got east, south, and west. And we're told it's in the northeast direction. So we're told it's northeast. And northeast, well, as a bearing, well, the angle from north clockwise would be 45 degrees. So its bearing would be 0, 045 degrees. OK, and our last question. So our last question says, Milton is southwest of Donhampton. What is the bearing of Milton from Donhampton? So we're told it's from Donhampton. So we're in Donhampton and we want to know the bearing of Milton. And we're told it's southwest. So we've got north, east, south and west, and we want to know the bearing of southwest, so this bearing here. So obviously we've got from north to east would be 90 degrees, to south would be 180 degrees, and then round to southwest will be another 45, so 180 plus 45 would be 225 degrees. So the bearing of Milton from Dunhampton would be 225 degrees. And that's it. So it's very important to know your compass directions. They are north, east, south, and west, and their positions in relation to each other. It's also handy to know their bearings. So north is 000 degrees, east is 090 degrees, south is 180 degrees, and west is 270 degrees. It's also useful to know that exactly in the middle of north and east is northeast, exactly in the middle of south and east is southeast, in the middle of south and west is southwest, and in the middle of north and west is northwest. And it can be quite useful to know their compass directions also. And also knowing that they're in the middle of each of them, you can work them out quite easily. So northeast would be 045 degrees, southeast would be 135 degrees, southwest would be 225 degrees, and northwest would be 315 degrees. And that's it.